Hello, welcome to the soft start part two. In the part one, we had discussed this circuit in detail. And finally, we have arrived that at this point, if the voltage is varied manually, we find the output was also changing the way that we had seen. The output was changing based on this particular variation that we used to make. There are a lot of signals that we had seen. But finally, what we had seen here is this that while we vary this voltage that means if while this voltage is increasing we find the angle is getting delayed and in the process the angle is uh, when we increase the angle is getting delayed angle is getting firing angle is getting delayed in the process the output is falling so alternatively what we can do is uh, during a start suppose we start somewhere from here that means at this voltage and if this voltage gradually falls automatically if this voltage is gradually falling automatically then what we will notice that the output power will gradually increase from a very low value to the highest value that means ultimately what we have understood that this voltage has to gradually fall so in our second part we will see how do we achieve it here we have removed all the ocean the first part that we had covered the final part we have kept it here and to see what we can do with the second part soft start we have now added another circuit like this let's try to understand this circuit now this is the power supply section so once the power supply is given we will connect it to the appropriate place whenever required so when the power is applied let's see what happens this ic anyway it's a lm324 another ic this gets power and then there's a transistor here and this transistor once we apply power the current flows through the base emitter circuit and charges this capacitor once this capacitor is getting charged during that time the emitter collector also gets connected or gets short circuited in the process this capacitor this 2.2 microfarad capacitor through 220 ohm resistor also gets charged now after some time what happens this capacitor will stop charging because when it gets fully charged the capacitor will stop charging but by that time this capacitor has already been charged and that voltage will appear at this place at plus terminal now since the no more current is flowing through this because the because the capacitor has been fully charged so this capacitor is not receiving any charge current from this supply and will start discharging through these two resistors one resistor 100k and another resistor 560k so because this value is very high 100k and 560k this capacitor will take quite a bit of time to discharge that means this voltage will gradually fall from the full voltage appearing across this and then to a low value meaning that this point will be gradually falling so again apply the formula when plus is more than minus output is equal to 1 meaning that when this voltage gradually falls this voltage will also gradually fall and this voltage ultimately we will feed to this point and now we will remove this manual connection this manual connection we have removed and this point we are given and this anyway the ramp voltage is coming from that circuit we have uh, hidden it for the purpose of uh, not making it more complicated and we will see now how it works what we have understood that this voltage is going to vary from highest voltage to the lowest voltage this is what is the function which is going to happen once we switch on this so we'll start it by switching it off now this is at the switch off condition and uh, try to start it now let's see what we do we try to start it we try to start it the moment we start it what we notice you see this it starts with this voltage and then this is gradually what we notice this will be gradually in the delayed angle will be gradually getting re reduced and in the process the voltage applied across the load will be increasing you can see this this voltage is gradually getting applied and uh, finally it will come to the full waveform so that the full power is applied across the load you see it is taking so much of time this is uh, because the uh, resistor capacitor arrangement that we have made the resistor capacitor arrangement that we have made across this particular resistor now this capacitor is discharging through this path in the process 
this comparator is now delivering the output in this fashion in this fashion where the triggering angle is gradually uh, instead of uh, lowest to the uh, beginning it comes and in the process the output power that we notice will be full and after we switch off this capacitor gets discharged by this diode through the supply that is the uh, basis on which the soft start of induction motor however in place of this lamp load an induction motor can be used and with the snubber network which have been explained in separate videos can be seen and the function of the track and the opto isolator all are also explained in separate videos if you like it please subscribe thank you